Hi everyone. This video is not about my typical freebie stuff. This is about an update to my situation about Delta Dental and my crowns and everything. So I called um, my clinic today and told them that I have decided that I was going to pay the $2,000 that um, I owe because I had two crowns done in September and $2,000 is what I owe because I paid $660 in September when I had the crowns done. So insurance denied my claim repeatedly because my crowns were needed due to erosion and I submitted several appeals and several grievances, went through the Better Business Bureau, the Department of Commerce, and um, the Attorney General's Office. And the end result of all that is, although people seem to be sympathetic to what I was going through, there was really nothing anybody could do to help me out to like force Delta Dental to pay. Um, one thing that happened that if you haven't watched any of my other videos is that they kept denying my claims and then suddenly in October, one month after or maybe a couple weeks after I had it done, I got an email from Delta Dental that says log into your account, you have a new statement. And so when I logged in, um, it said that Delta Dental had paid the whole entire balance and that I owed nothing. So that is part of the reason why I've gone through all of this um, fight to try and get it paid for because not only do I think they're rule for erosion um, to deny coverage to anybody that has erosion and that's why they need a crown is unfair. I also feel like they said they paid it and then they tried to pretend like that didn't happen and I didn't think that was fair either and they will not give me an answer as to why that happened. They choose to pretend like they didn't do that. I do have proof. I do have a snip. Um, I saved it. I still have it that says that they paid the balance 2000 and something and that I owe nothing and I have that still. I have it on my phone. I have it on my computer. I have printouts of it. Um, but every time I ask them, why did you, why did I get a statement saying it's paid and now you're pretending like that didn't happen? They don't acknowledge that I'm asking a question. Um, they don't answer the question. They just say, all of your appeals and, and uh, um, claims and grievances have been exhausted, blah, blah, blah. So they choose to just stonewall me. The only thing I think I can do is write a letter to my congressperson or maybe get a private lawyer, but I'm not going to get a lawyer. I've decided against that. The um, congressperson I might do. I'm not really, I'm thinking it's probably not going to um, fix anything at this point. So I did call and I put the $2,000 that I owed for my crowns onto my Wells Fargo Health Advantage card because a lot of times a lot of um, dental places or medical places will offer um, 18 months interest free if you pay it off within that time frame. So I called and said, do you have 18 months free? Well, first of all, I asked if they still take Wells Fargo Health Advantage and they said yes. And I said, do you have 18 months interest free? The lady on the phone says yes. And then I said, well, when I went online, I didn't see it as an option to use the Wells Fargo Health Advantage card. And she said, I can take your payment over the phone. So she took my pay payment over the phone and asked me if I wanted a receipt. And I said, yes. So then she sends a receipt to my email. My email receipt says, I have six months interest free, which is a pretty big difference. So now I have added $2,000 to the $2,200 I already owed on that card for my son's wisdom teeth extraction. I had paid $600 off because he had gotten that done probably six weeks, two months ago now, and I've been making payments on that. Um, so I had got that down to 1600 
and then I oh then I added the two thousand, so that now comes out to thirty five hundred and something. So now I have until like November eleventh to pay this off without getting the um, really high interest on it. So that would be November eleventh. So according to my calculations, I guess I would have to pay six hundred dollars a month for six months and then I would have it paid off in time in order to not get the huge finance charges or the interest I mean. Um, I still don't know why when I asked the lady on the phone do you have 18 months interest free with that and she said yes and then the receipt says six months. I don't know why there is a discrepancy there. So um, I don't really know if it's worth calling and asking about it kind of bothers me a little bit um it would be nice to get it paid off that quickly though and just be done with it but it is a big chunk of money that I'm that I would have to pay every single month so I'm somewhat stressed out about this still um so anyway that is my latest update and I'm not exactly thrilled with this situation as I have not been thrilled the past two and a half years and I also still need four more crowns that I'm going to probably end up getting after I pay all this other stuff off so um feel free to comment if you have any um thoughts opinions if you're going through any kind of a hardship with dental bills medical bills dental insurance, medical insurance, I would like to know thoughts and opinions and just people, um, you know, saying what they think or suggestions or whatever. I welcome all of that. So, um, yeah, that's it. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye.